In this section, we are going to study the formation of a star and a protoplanetary disk. First topic is the star formation. A planet rotates around the stars. We start considering the formation process of a stars at first. And second topic. To form a stars, instability to induce the gravitational collapse need to be set. I will explain the condition for such instabilities. Third topic, we will study the density profile of a baby star and the growth rate of a star. While a newborn star is forming, all the gas cannot migrate to the star directly. Instead, a disk composed of gas and small amount of solid particles is formed around the newborn stars. Such a disk is called a protoplanetary disk because planets formed in a disk. So, first topic, we study the formation process of a protoplanetary disk. The first topic is the star formation. We found the stars are forming inside of a molecular cloud. We can find the molecular cloud in the universe because it blocks the background light of stars and makes shadow in the visible images. So this is the information of a molecular cloud. High concentration of molecular gas and dust. So number density of gas in a molecular cloud is about 10 to 1000 particles per cubic centimeters. Compared with the average number density of the one particles per cubic centimeters in the universe, this 10 to the thousand is uh, much higher than the average number densities. The temperatures of the molecular cloud is quite low, like uh, 10 to 50 Kelvin. So low temperature indicates the low kinetic energies. Total mass of the molecular cloud is uh, 1000 to the 100,000 solar masses. We find stars are forming inside of this molecular cloud. To form a star, there is uh, some possibility to trigger the star formation. First scenario is uh, a molecular cloud might collide with another molecular cloud. Then the collision site between the two molecular clouds produce the high density areas. High density means higher gravitational force. Higher gravitational force set star formation in such a region. Another one possible scenario to form a star. So the molecular cloud is a member of a galaxies. The molecular cloud is also rotating around the center of the galaxies. So molecular cloud sometimes happen to encounter with a spiral arm of a galaxies. Spiral arm of the galaxies has a high densities. The molecular cloud is compressed, induced gravitational instability inside of the molecular cloud to form the newborn stars. Sometimes the supernova explosions produce the shock waves and the shock wave propagating in the universe meet the molecular cloud. The regions inside of the molecular cloud is compressed, produce a higher density region. Such a compressed regions of the gas induce the stronger gravities, end up with the formation of stars inside of a molecular cloud. This is what we call the trigger star formations. Now we would like to consider the compressed regions inside of a molecular cloud. So molecular cloud is subject to the perturbation due to the collision between the molecular clouds or encounter with the spiral arms of our galaxies or shock waves from the supernova explosion, some of the region inside of the molecular cloud is compressed, produce the region of the higher densities. Then we'd like to consider the uh, two forces. So competition between the two forces determine the destiny of the molecular cloud. So one of the forces is the gravity. Gravity pull the gas toward the uh, higher densities. Gas is accumulated in the higher density regions due to the gravitational force. The other force is uh, pressures. 
pressure prefer to expand the object into the larger volumes. So these two forces acting on the gas in the opposite directions. We'd like to find out which force is larger than the, the other force. If the gravity is larger than the pressures, we expect the object is collecting into the higher density region to form a stars. So we'd like to study the conditions for such instabilities. So such an instability was studied by the genes. So because of the, his discovery, we call the genes instabilities. Genes instability sets in when the gravitational forces become stronger than the gas pressures. So we consider the, some regions inside of the molecular ground. The mass of the region is a blue region is a capital M. R is the size of the, these regions. And the rho is a density. And the T is the temperatures. So gravity is expressed as GM rho over R squares. And the pressure term is expressed as minus round P round R. This is the pressure gradient force. Then we'd like to compare these two forces. If the gravity is larger than pressure force, then it leads to the contraction of that regions. So this is the condition for the gravitational contraction of the region. So gm rho over r squared is larger than the minus round p round r. Then we'd like to make an order of estimate. We'd like to substitute the uh, mass of the object and the rho. Instead of r, we substitute size of this object, r squared. Pressure gradient expressed the pressure divided the size of this object. One of the r is going to be cancelled. Then we use the equation of state. P equals rho over mu mh kt. This is the equation of state. Then you can substitute this P is here. It's going to be gm rho over r rho over mu m sub h kt. Then the rho appears in the both sides of the equation. Then you can substitute. Mass is expressed related to the size of this object. We assumed the spherical shape of this object. 4 pi over 3 times r cube is a volume of this object times rho. So from the, this equation, you can calculate r. Becomes 3 over 4 pi rho, 1 over 3, m to the 1 over 3. Then you can substitute r to the here. Mass is expressed 3 over 4 pi rho, 1 over 2, kt over g mu m sub h over 3 over 2. If the mass of the region of the molecular cloud is larger than these values, then gravity becomes stronger than the pressure and they lead to the gravitational contractions of that region. So we call that this minimum mass is a genes mass, m sub j. If you substitute the temperature of the molecular cloud is about 10 Kelvin, and the number density of the molecular cloud is 100 particles per cubic centimeters. Then you can calculate the genes mass. It's about 300 solar masses. This number is agree with the mass of a stellar clusters. So we could explain the formation of the stellar clusters using the, this simple estimate of the genes mass. Then, if a molecular cloud has a mass more massive than the genes mass, then collapse results in the increase of the temperature and densities. We can calculate a new genes mass because the genes mass is a function of the temperature and the number of densities. If the temperature is increasing, the genes mass is increasing number density is increasing, then the genes mass is decreasing. So we need to calculate the new genes mass. Then once you calculate new genes mass of the M sub J primes, we'd like to compare it with the old genes mass of the M sub Js. If the new genes mass is uh, smaller than the M sub Js, M sub J is uh, less massive than the initial mass of the M. Then this collapsing process is proceed in this case fragmentation of the regions and end up with the formation of stars. Then if the larger than the 
M sub J or genes mass. There will be the two results depending on the new genes mass. If the M sub J prime is still less than the initial mass of the M, then keep collapsing, then increasing the temperature, then increasing the number densities. Then we need to calculate new genes mass again. Initial mass is less massive than the new genes mass. Then pressure becomes larger than the gravity, so end up with the expansion due to the high pressures, and then return to the stable state. There is no formation of stars in this case. By looking at the temperature and the number density of the compressed regions, and we could calculate the genes mass. If a compressed region has a large angular momentum, it cannot contract into a single point. Instead, it forms a binary, two-star system. Two-star rotate around the center of the mass of the systems. Actually, the more than half of stars belong to binary systems. So depending on the initial angular momentum, the final state of a star is determined. In these sections, I explain the formation process of stars. This is the end of this lecture.